sell all this. We're going to buy this land. We're going to drop in our, our uh, refinery, um, iron refinery, smelter. Um, and yeah, we're going to lease some equipment to do all this, replant this, buy here, and build the smelter. And that should be the end of this episode. Uh, once we've got all that in place, then we can start making deliveries of these things. So, all right, we'll uh, fast forward. I'll talk you through some of the buy decisions I make and um, in here. And yeah, I'll see you on the other side. All right, guys, so what do we need to do? If we go to our purchase menu. Well, first of all, let's get this loaded on. This is probably the last thing that I need to bother with right now. I probably really need to focus on uh, you know, the upgrades and stuff that we need to do. So. All right. Let's get down here. Okay. So, first things first. Let's sell that fork. We don't need this. We do not need that anymore. We've decided we're going to buy the little forks and all that stuff. Um, and there's no rough terrain where we need it for a tractor. So, All right. So the next thing we want to do is to get set up with some equipment to grind stumps. <clears throat> um, we're going to need to go to forestry equipment. We're going to need to go down here. Uh, we got some stumpers there. This one's too small. I just want to drag it across the ground. Get it done. Um, what else we got? This one goes to a front end, uh, or excuse me, excavator. And is that it? All right, so we only really have two that we can use with our tractor. Uh, so we have this one, which is 2.9, and this one, which is 1.7, and this uses 200 horsepower. That's good for our tractor. So let's, should we lease? How much is it to lease? It's very low to lease. So we're going to lease this guy, and then we're going to use our tractor. Uh, to grind away all the stumps. And then the next thing when we come back is we're going to need to plant, using the planter, we're going to need to plant um, the trees in that area. So we need to replant that area. So let's get busy picking this up. Uh, let's go over to a tractor. And uh, you'll see me go through and um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get it done. All right, guys, I think I'm going to go to sleep until there's no snow because I cannot see the stumps and just grinding across the ground is just not enough. So I'm going to keep sleeping until the snow's gone and then I'll get back to it.
All right, guys. That took a long time. That was like an hour of work. Um, it was really hard to do until I decided I would just hire a landscaping company and remove all the brush. Um, you know, so that's the brush tool. I just call it hiring a landscaping company because I don't know how else it w you could describe what's happening when you use a paint tool. It costs, I think it's a, a dollar per square foot, two dollars per square foot, something like that. Um, I just brushed the entire, maybe it's per square meter, I don't know. I just brushed the entire thing so I could see all of the uh, stumps that were there. Um, that made things a lot easier. All right, so next step, we're going to go back to the, um, back to the, uh, uh, the shop, and we're going to lease a, um, we're going to lease that one. That one. We're going to lease a uh, planter, and we're just going to plant this area with a bunch of trees. Um, I mean, you can see how many stumps I removed. That's how many trees we have to replace. Uh, we're going to make it nice and neat um, so that when the trees grow, we can easily harvest them again. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys back. I'm not going to get rid of this stump grinder just in case I need it. Um, just going to keep it right here. And uh, let's lease the tree planter. We gotta buy some trees for the tree planter. And um, yeah, fast forward again. See you on the other side of that. sell that property now and just let those trees grow and I really hope that it's programmed so that the uh, I really hope it's programmed so that the trees grow when you don't own the property <clears throat> but um yeah let's get rid of the forestry equipment that we're leasing I didn't end up having to use that grinder that stump grinder um, again And um, yeah, all these trees that I planted should grow. There's a bunch of smaller trees that I just didn't bother with getting rid of. I don't think these grow at all, which is kind of weird. Um, I really don't think that these other trees grow at all. Uh, I think it's just a little weird, but you know, hey, what do I know? <clears throat> um, Just dump the weight there. Pick up our front end loader here. All right. Grab the weight again. 
And then we're just gonna get out of the way of the trees. The last thing we want is for them to grow onto us. I didn't come all the way up this hill uh, with those trees that I planted. I just didn't think that was any value. So. Alright guys. Um, yeah, so like I was saying, got interrupted, sorry. Um, the, uh, hopefully when I sell this land, the trees will continue to grow. I have no clue if the mechanics of the game allow that or not, but we're going to give it a try. We're going to find out. This is an experiment. So I had a thought. <clears throat> um, oh, I already sold this. Okay, good. Um, so I had a thought. I was going to buy here, and then that way we just had a short distance to go to deliver, you know, the stuff. But um, I'm thinking I may just buy an upgraded, like, truck, dump truck and just go here, you know? So let's take a look real quick at the dump trucks. All right, guys, so <clears throat> I took a quick break um, in order to figure out what I was gonna do so you guys didn't have to sit there watching me sort through the menu and everything. So I've got this mod right here. It carries um, 21,000 to 82,000. I want to see what size the 82,000 looks. I don't want I don't want a cheaty one. 21,000 seems reasonable. Liters. Um and let's see here what are the configurations? Unreal capacity. Okay, good. Okay. Uh ooh, look at all the lights we can have on it cover. So um yeah, so we're going to do this guy. And um we'll buy him. And we'll also buy where is that nice truck? Uh, this one right here. We're gonna buy this one. And we're gonna buy the one that that trailer, that dump truck attaches onto, which will be, whoops, this one. Attaches onto that one. We're gonna go for super powerful engines. Um, wheel setup. Oh yeah, we need this. We need that. Yeah. Uh, so no special additions. No. We don't need anything. Lighting. Any cool lighting effects? I don't see any cool lighting effects. Um, oh, bumpers. Let's. Can we get a nice? Yeah. There we go. Heavy duty bumper. And a heavy duty bumper. We're dealing with forestry here and mining operations. So yeah. And uh, yeah, we want some mirrors, I guess. Um, and uh, that should be good. And then once again, we want to do that olive green because I love the olive green. You guys know it. I know it. And um, yeah, this will be, it'll be this combination right here. All right. So that's good. Now we need a loader. And for our loader, we're going to do, where do the finding loaders go? Yeah, we go. Wheel loaders right here. <clears throat> we are going to do this guy. Um, He's big, he's huge, uh, he's helpful. So let's go ahead and pick this guy up. We're gonna buy him. Oh wait, I do wanna do a safety frame and a safety beacon. Yeah, that's all good. All right, so we're gonna get some real loaders now. <clears throat> um, the next thing we wanna do is a bucket for the loader. I don't wanna sit there for days on end, um, you know, shoveling and shoveling and shoveling so front loader tools and do i have oh that's front loader sorry we want wheel loaders wheel loader tools so there is a loader in here that does ten thousand. was it this one one of these has a bucket that tips was it the ten thousand one it's the 10,000 one. So this bucket, not only does the, you know, it tips on its own, but the bucket additionally tips beyond that. So I love this bucket. <clears throat> it's huge too. It's a nice, nice gigantic size. All right, so now we've got two new vehicles. Uh, we get to them. There we go. So we got this guy. Nice, that looks good, doesn't it? Let's 
get to the uh, cover. How do we open the cover? There we go. That looks nice. All right, does it have a hook on the back? There's no hook on the back. I was hoping that we could pull that wheel loader up to the, to the mining operation, but it doesn't look like we can. Look at the size of that bucket. Okay, so we're pretty good here. Um, two loads of this bucket should fill the back of that truck. Look at the size of the bucket next to that truck. Yeah. And um, our next step was to purchase the uh, land that we need. Um, so we're going to buy this land. And then on that land, we're going to put our... This guy right here. Let's get over to that land. Here we go. Here we go. Nice. So, we've got a nice little production chain going on here. I'll go move this equipment up, and we'll do our first load. Guys, let's see what we've got here. I'm gonna move this whole truck, see if the number one, if the building can take the entire load of the truck. And it can, which is great. And let's see how much uh we gotta go on the front. The front side is an engine side. Let's see how much uh we have loaded in here. Open production. Oh, so it can take three more loads. <clears throat> so I'm going to do three more loads. We're going to end the episode here. Please like and subscribe. I'm going to do three more loads. I'm going to load this up. Uh, I'm going to grab all of our um, wood and stuff, and I'm going to sell that. Um, we're probably going to, next episode, purchase another, uh, another forest. I probably will purchase the forest and do some forestry uh, just to keep things rolling. And um, you can join me. We'll take these, this metal, and we'll bring it over to the roller coaster. And um, yeah, I'll see you soon. Thanks for joining me. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.